Welcome to day eight of our 12 days of giveaways featuring local Milton businesses and local Milton artisans. Today, we're speaking with Tall Like Joe, who makes beautiful, gorgeous custom charcuterie boards and lots of other items. But I'm gonna let him tell you about all of the amazing things that he makes. Make sure you watch the video to the end because we have an amazing giveaway for you. Thank you. Appreciate it. So tell us a little bit about all of the items that you make, how you got started. Probably three or four years ago when my son was born, I needed to make a little chef's ladder, we call it, for him to get up to the counter. And they turned out pretty nice, and my wife said you should make more of those and start to sell them. So I started to make them, and honestly, I could not keep up with the orders. So that's where Tall Like Joe comes from. My wife kind of threw that name in there. And I'm hoping to start them again because people are constantly messaging me for this toddler ladders, which I loved and I want to be able to get that to other children as well. And I'm kind of a foodie, me and my wife, so the first thing I started to make besides the toddler ladders was my cutting boards. Did a lot of research about the cutting boards, learned that they had to be end grain, which is kind of end grain up, which is going to be the toughest part of the board to chop on. And just being a foodie, I branched out into charcuterie boards and coasters, and it just kept going. So yeah, I came across some barn board, and I, it kind of sat in my garage for almost a year. And I didn't really know what I was gonna do with it. And then I just inspiration hit me one day and I thought I'd make some uh, serving trays out of them. So I kind of cut it up, glued it up, stuck a few handles on there, got a little bit of feet. And uh, I think they're great, I love them. I also do serving trays out of epoxy and stuff like that as well, but this is what I have available right now. Recently, I've started using a lot of epoxy in some of my products as well. And people tend to really enjoy the epoxy as well. There's lots of colors, lots of opportunity there to do whatever you'd like. It's pretty much a creative outlet for me at this point. I really, really enjoy it. So do you do a lot of custom orders? Yeah, so my name is getting out there now and I got people always messaging me for custom orders. So I've got a bunch of stuff on the back burner that I'm trying to get in, trying to get finished before Christmas. I have a lot of custom orders. Some cutting boards with people's 60th birthday, for example, I'm gonna do that. I can do engraving. I'm also gonna build like a bench for another client. She kind of gave me a picture, but give me free range to kind of build it as well. And I'm also doing a custom river table for another client. So that's my biggest project to date. Oh, wow, like a dining room? Yeah, dining room, kitchen table, exactly. So yeah, so it's not just like your cutting boards and charcuteries, you're branching out now into like doing furniture and custom pieces. Yeah, I am. It's kind of snowballing, it's great. I'm getting a lot of opportunity to kind of build a lot of different items. It's a lot of fun. Joe, tell us about the giveaway. So these are one of my cutting boards that I made. End grain cutting boards, which is a big deal to me. End grain. End grain, basically, if you look at these guys, this is face grain. Not that you couldn't cut on it, but it's not going to hold up to a knife. Where the end grain is flipped up, it's an extra step you need to make a cutting board end grain. So this will hold up over time to a knife. Where the face grain probably won't hold up as well. Okay, it's more for the display. It is. So yeah, this beautiful board got uh, walnut, yellow heart, mahogany, walnut, and maple. Oh, it's very beautiful. What is the best way for people to get in touch with you or to find you if they want to inquire about having a custom piece or ordering something that you have in stock? Through Facebook, Tall Like Joe, or Instagram, Tall Like Joe, give me a follow there. Facebook is new to me. I'm still learning. Instagram I've been using for the last few years, so the majority of my stuff is on Instagram, and that's where I'll continue to post. So DM me, message me. I have a business card. They're gonna be on each of the items. My phone number's on there as well. So yeah, reach out and see what I can do for you.